Hello guys, Jurassic Man here today, and I'm gonna be reviewing the uh, Hero Smasher, Spinosaurus, and Mosasaurus combination pack. As you can see, these this is a Hero Masher. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone even likes these, but I do kind of like the Hero Mashers. I'm not a fan of the Raptors, but I do like the... Uh, the Indominus, the Rex, I don't have any of those. They're rare. They don't sell them anymore. The only place I've been able to find them are in Toys R Us and online for high prices. And even in high prices, people still won't buy these. I don't know why, but I actually really, really like the concept of the Hero Masters Jurassic Park. If you think about it, the whole theme about the movie was hybrids. And what better to do that and use Hero Smashers as a hybrid? Combine different dinosaurs into different parts. Heck, you even use the Marvels or the Star Wars lines. Star Wars lines they use in them. <laughs> Imagine, like an Indominus Rex with Jar Jar's head on top and probably Hulk's legs. That would be funny. I haven't tried to have that compatible or not because I don't own Hero Smashers like those. But yeah, this is a really good set. As you can see, this is the reason I like about these is because they're very posable and that's what I love about uh, certain toys they're very posable like a uh, like mascot or how they how they call it things about hero mashers uh, Jurassic Park version is that they kind of have a weird issue with balancing I'm not sure this is how you're supposed to stand them, but this is how they stand, for me. You, you can't uh, put them neutral position, because they just fall over. Uh, this is a Spinosaurus co comparison, if you'd like. I like to call it the duckling, because it actually does have a duck front part, and is yellow. The blue, I'm guessing somebody paint over a poor duck and slap a... Slap some fin on his back and of course claws. But that's it. Uh, I'm going to use the Mosasaurus comparison later, but let's compare them quickly first before I get to the Mosasaurus. As you can see, this is the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus. Sadly, however, it does not want to stand no more unless I do this. Yeah, it's just gonna knock it over, but you, you saw the comparison right there. They actually stand pretty evenly with each other. Alright, now I'm gonna compare it with the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World line of dinosaur, the hybrid raptor. Come on. I got it to stand earlier due to some combination, but. What I do is just I put the leg right there and it, it was able to stand for a while but I guess you can't keep them like that because standing issues, I don't know. The raptor is Kapuya. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, switch this to the Mosasaur figure set and I'll see you in a bit. And voila, you got the Mosasaur. Not very impressive, it looks like a tiny snake with fins and a gargantuan head. I really like this Mosasaur head, this is the closest I'm ever going to get to owning a Jurassic Park Mosasaur because if, if people like us knows that they're very hard to get. And when I mean very hard, we literally mean very hard. Yeah, that's, that's it. It has a very thin, orange fin on its back. I don't really like that. Its tail is the same. I'm not sure if we're supposed to get rid of this piece or not, but yeah, it's the same. The fins are kind of cool. And the head is green. The only thing I don't like is that it has a yellow piece on it. Of course, with a yellow tail and a blue fin instead of an orange piece. Which kind of uh, degrades uh, its coloration-wise of appearance. I the very cool build his head goes on like that you could turn it any way you can make it look up 
you can make it look down and it's good at floating all right that's about it of this review but before I finish it I want to show you some creations I can make like you can make an elasmosaurus by using some of these pieces and I'll show you my greatest creation right after that see you in a bit all right this is the elasmosaurus I created I'm not sure if this is my first or original creation of it probably somebody out there already did this not very unique to me because it does share the neck and the long piece of the tail it still has the body and shape of the mosasaur and has the mosasaur head kinda get rid of the tiny concept of a small elasmosaurus head also is uh, top heavy yeah it's no way to uh, put it like that unless you keep it in a good position like this and either way it still falls occasionally alright and now I'm gonna show you my greatest creation of them all it's not a dinosaur it's probably an alien or beast I created and that's gonna be the final part of the video and here it is I don't know what it is but I kinda got creative and made this thing using the legs as the front arms, the tiny fins in the back legs, the long tail helps keep balancing. I kept the fin on because I like the fin because I don't like a bear because it has these pegs up here and it doesn't really fit well. I kind of grew into that concept. And I kept the mosasaur head with uh, the neck piece, just the neck piece. Alright, that's about it. Um, he's a very great figure. I like it. I like this concept of toys. I just wish it wasn't so um, cartoony and robotic looking, especially with these pieces. That's why I don't want the Dimorphodon one or the Tyranodon one, because it has literally these pieces. The next Poly Hero Masters toys I want to get is probably the Indominus Rex and the Brown T Rex. None of the Raptors. I had a Raptor. I didn't like it. It looks very odd. Its head and neck shares the same piece. So, yeah. Alright, that's about it with my review. Hope you guys like it and my original creation. And if someone has created this already, then I guess props to you. But if this is my first ever creation, uh, props to me. And if you'd like to make this guy, he's very easy. Just need the Spinosaurus build. That's about it. Hope you guys have a nice day and see you next time.